No haircut? Yeah, in <laughs> Cape Town haircut is shit. Korean haircut. Oh my god. Even even in Korea, I go only one place. Actually, yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Either other places like I don't like it. Holy shit. I only go one place. It's only one, one person. One person. Yeah. Holy one person, one yeah. place. Yeah. Insane. Well, basically everything that we've worked for this year comes down to this weekend. Basically, we have to win all three days or our season will be over and no one wants to do that. I really expect to be in Korea next week. We know Echo Fox is favored coming into this matchup. We are on the rift and we will see if Clutch Gaming can once again upset a best of five that should really never be on the table for them. Gets one pulverized on as we see a flash from Apollo get himself to safety. Febovin with the Emperor's divide back onto Smoothie and Dardock. Now they're turning the fight. Valera gets taken down by Loss. Can he be the factor that changes the fight oh. for Echo Fox? Hooney takes down Solo in a solo kill on the bot side and Lost is going crazy as he picks oh. up a triple kill. The Quadra onto Hakuo. It wasn't really like too hyped for me. Like during the comms, it was just like, I flashed in, said nothing. They all died and we're like, oh nice. <laughs> what next? Reckless swing coming in from Dardock. Strikes him down from the heavens. Solo low, but it looks like he'll be able to purge the damage. No, he goes down as well as Hooney sinks his fangs and once again, Echo Fox making their way down mid lane and this could be the game. Hooney really pushed his advantage all game two. He did the most damage in the game by a lot. He caught out the Camille many times and really just made the enemy team just look like they didn't really know how to play the game around him. On the front line, That's it's it. a dash in for Dardock. There's Hooney onto Apollo and Febovin shutting down the DPS. Disdains Febovin back, puts him right in the frying pan, and they're gonna make some snake shoes out of Clutch Gaming on that one. Lyra heads for the hills, he's out of the base, and Fox looks to make this a 3-0 as they bring in the rest of the minions. So we, even though we beat Clutch today, we still have two more best of fives. It is gonna be a really hard three days. And so we're focused purely on TSM tomorrow, and that's all that we're going to be thinking about. Press, uh, press fucking flash, no, you found a claw break. No, I don't think, I don't think, <coughs> no, I think you just pause if it lags, and then wait, slacks up, right, slacks we'll up again? play and determine if they want to give you <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to flash it. Apparently. Yeah. I'm panic, I'm panic. I'm fucking panic. If, if both teams use yeah, something, if both teams use something, they can ask both teams, though. It's not who I don't give a fuck, man. <gasps> I'm letting you know it's not a race to turn the flash power. The thing is about the gauntlet, it is such a fickle beast. You can go all the way to the final round, mm -hmm. you can take your opponent to five games, it does not matter if you do not win. It's all or nothing at this point in time. It's happening again, the scrappy style is not working out. It's now Echo Fox coming in looking to stop TSM. Hootie's gonna be taken very low, into the pit they go. Baron Nasher secured by the side of TSM. They will lose their top laner, but now they're still trying to fight their way out of here. Demonte goes forward. Gonna be counterattacked. Mindy's got a huge ult. And that's the team fighting Azale. That's the guys who are the kings of Europe looking to bring it back here to NA. And TSM will take down inhibitor number one. They're not wasting any time. They're on to the Nexus Turris. They want to seal the deal real quick. Bjergsen's unstoppable. Dardock's just gonna be buying a little bit more time. A couple seconds is all he'll get. Second Nexus turret goes down. And if we said they were dominating in game number one, game number two is absolute control over Summoner's Rift, as TSM will take it to match point. Our team is a really scrappy team. We like to fight a lot. It's not like we can't fight or shouldn't fight. It's just that um, I really hoped for our team to be able to learn the clean macro game. Echo Fox has to make their stand here. Demonte uses the ulti early on Dardock. They will not get any value out of that. Dardock falls anyway. Guardian Angel gonna be procced on that one. Smoothie and Demonte looking to make the final stand. They will not stand any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a clean sweep. And TSM will go to the gauntlet finale tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, from my experience, the gauntlet feels pretty bad, which is like, I knew if you lose, it's going to happen, you know, it's like, it feels really bad. I mean, obviously, just making worse is like three teams out of 10. Definitely it's like, not easy, but I know I'm not like bad player. So pretty much that's why I'm more like dis disappointed. 
most of our practice wasn't. You couldn't see rapid progression in a lot of the mistakes we were making. And personally, I don't think I was up to shape hitting into goal net. And I think that, that really showed on stage too. I don't think, it, for me, I don't think it happened that well, obviously. Um, we lost against TSM and I attribute that a lot to just how practice has been going and how low quality I'd say the games are um, compared to what we could be. So it's pretty regret. I have a lot of regret in that aspect because that's something I wanted to bring to Echo Fox, but I couldn't really um, do it in my time here. Well, for the week following, I don't really have any plans. I kind of just am going to take it easy, probably just focus on going to the gym and just not doing too much really, try to get my mind off things because I think these last eight months, personally for me, I've been going harder than I've ever gone before. I, don't, I didn't really give myself a break in the last eight months, so I think for me it's going to be pretty important to just like really tone it down now because I think I've been more stressed in my life than I've ever been for the last couple months or even just this entire year. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I think due to that stress, I've just become a better player. Definitely looking into the future, I would agree that like, I think the one thing our roster needs is time. Time and a lot of fundamental change for us. And if we could get all the, all the puzzle pieces in line, then I think we would be a really, really, really strong roster. I think now all that's gonna matter is if we come back next season, we're not gonna really have any more excuses. Like, personally for me and Lost, we're not going to be considered the new guys anymore. Like, we're going to be expected to perform at the same level as everyone else. So I think that's just going to make sure that all of us are playing at a higher level than we are now. I don't think anyone is really going to take this loss and, like, bring it into next year or something. Everyone's going to get over it pretty fast and just really be determined to make Worlds next split. And, yeah, I think everyone will just come back stronger. Yeah, I mean, this 2018 for Echo Fox is, like, bad season but not for me, obviously. I mean, for me, it's like totally fail season. But as a team, at least we're getting better. And also I made it, like, which is like, Echo Fox have never been in the playoff. And I'm here, and I'm, I made first time. So probably I should be pointing more that about it, even though I'm pretty disappointed myself. Like, as a team, as a company, as a like, not only like me, so I should be more looking bigger that I still need to succeed for my team. Yeah, I just want to say like thanks for supporting us for this entire split. All your support means so much to us and that's the only reason why we can keep working day in, day out. Like I always read all the Twitter comments and even like even some Reddit comments and I really appreciate all the support. Thanks to all of my new fans and all of Echo Fox's new fans this year. I know that this year has had a lot of ups and downs, and for me personally, I just really welcome all the new fans of Echo Fox. I've been here for two years now, and I can really feel like the change in all of the fandom, and I really hope that you guys will keep supporting us and keep supporting me in the future. Hey, it's Muli. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe.